Right, here we go again. I'm gonna make this the last one because my voice is going a bit. God bless you, York. You have a need of a savior. If you have not believed the gospel of Jesus Christ, you have a need of the savior. Because the Bible says we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God. If any man says he has no sin, he deceives himself, and the truth is not in him. The Bible says the wages of sin, that, that, that means the results of your sin is death, that means hell. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everybody, is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, for anybody and everybody who believes. been asked to turn it down and with all due respect it is loud and she, she is she said she said people can't can't hear at a cake store so uh, I thought it was a nice game store it's a crepe store not cake store but so I turned the speaker this way turned it down a bit God bless you I think I turned it up God bless you yeah, I've turned it down a bit and I pointed the speaker this way. So here we go. God bless you, York. I've come here to tell you the everlasting gospel of salvation. If you want to go to heaven, then please listen to this. The most important message that you'll ever hear in this world is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because without Jesus Christ, you will find yourself in hell. Because the Bible makes it very clear that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God. The Bible makes it clear that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ for anybody and everybody who believes, no matter what you have done, Jesus has promised that he will not turn anybody away who comes to him. But please do not hesitate any longer, because Jesus Christ is coming, just as he promised. He's about to rapture all believers up into heaven in the rapture. Don't be left behind. The only requirement for you to be saved and know you're going to be taken up to heaven in the rapture is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ in your heart and call upon Jesus. The gospel is that Jesus was crucified on the cross to pay the penalty in full for our past, present and future sins. He was buried in a tomb and got raised into life on the third day. And if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and you say, come into my life, Lord Jesus, and you believe in your heart that God has raised him to life on the third day, you will be saved. But Jesus said, unless you change your mind and repent, you will all perish. That means you'll land in hell. Unless you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will land in hell. Please, repent, change your minds, lay hold of your salvation, believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. You will be guaranteed a one-way ticket to heaven, escaping the damnation of hell. And it's all down to you to either accept or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Time is running out. Lay hold of your salvation if you haven't already done so. Because Jesus is coming. 
lay hold of your salvation. It's so simple for you to be saved and know that you are going to heaven by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. How that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. That's what gospel means. Jesus paid the penalty in full on the cross for all our sins, past, present, and future sin. He was buried in a tomb and God raised him to life on the third day. And if you believe this in your hearts and call upon Jesus, you will be saved, sealed, justified, sanctified, heaven bound, rapture ready, escaping the damnation of hell. But Jesus said, if you reject this, if you if you do not receive the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, you're going to find yourself in hell. So many people taking the gamble that Jesus isn't who he says he is. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the door. By me, if any man is... If any man enters it, he shall be saved. Be an any man, because time is running out. Jesus Christ is coming. Lay hold of your salvation. Because Jesus said, unless you repent, unless you change your minds and believe the gospel, you will all perish. The only requirement for you to be saved and know that you're going to heaven and not going down to hell for eternity is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. How? That Jesus paid the penalty and fall on the cross for all our sins. He was sacrificed for all our sins. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day. And if you will confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your hearts that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But Jesus said, unless you change your mind and believe, you will all perish. That's it. Heaven or hell. The choice lies within your hearts. For there is none other name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Please, will you stop listening to Satan who is trying to distract you away from Jesus Christ, from laying hold of your eternal destination, salvation, and security. Stop listening to the God of this age, Satan, who has come only to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus Christ has come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly, even everlasting life. If any man is ashamed of Jesus and of his words in this sinful, adulterous generation, Jesus will be ashamed of that man when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. The rapture is about to take place. Jesus Christ is coming. He's about to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will be resurrected first. And then all believers which are alive and remain are going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus Christ and then this world is going to be turned upside down if you witness this great policy you can still be saved but do not take the mark of the beast do not bow down to the beast you're welcome, God bless you man lay hold of your salvation believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved the gospel is that Jesus shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of all our sins according to the scriptures. 
he was found. He rose again from the dead on the third day. And if you believe this in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. But Jesus said, unless you change your mind and repent, you will all perish. Repent, therefore, for the kingdom of heaven is at stake. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand here. The destination of your soul depends on whether or not you are going to accept or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. For there is none other name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man comes to the Father God but through me. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. So many of you, you're being distracted by the enemy, Satan. He will use whatever he can to distract you away from laying hold of your salvation through Jesus Christ. The devil is a liar. He's come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And many people are listening to him and not listening to the word of God, which says we all have sinned. The, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. For anybody and everybody who believes, no matter what you have done, Turn to the Lord Jesus because he has promised he will not turn anybody away no matter what you have done, no matter how much evil you have done, you can be saved. Turn to the Lord Jesus. Time is running out. Jesus Christ is about to come and take all his children up into heaven in the rapture. And then this world, according to the prophet Isaiah, shall be turned upside down during the great tribulation which is about to start when God shall pour out his wrath during seven years of hell on earth during the great tribulation which is about to start lay hold of your salvation do not hesitate any longer because you're not guaranteed to be here tomorrow Lay hold of your salvation, the only requirement for you to know you're going to heaven and not going down to hell is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ in your heart. Call upon him. It's as simple as that. But Jesus said, unless you change your mind and believe, you will all perish. That means you'll all land in hell. If you do not believe in Jesus Christ, you're going to hell. I'd rather that you made it to heaven by believing the gospel of how that Jesus died on the cross for all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again from the dead according to the scriptures. And if you confess Jesus as Lord, and you're not ashamed to say, come into my life, Lord Jesus, come into my life, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how simple it is. And the devil is trying to dis distract you away from laying hold of your salvation. The devil, Satan, the God of this age, He's trying to distract you through your devices, through your television. He will use whatever means he can to distract you away from the Lord Jesus Christ and from laying hold of your salvation. Stop listening to the devil. Lay hold of your eternal destination and salvation through Jesus Christ. Because there is no other name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. All other ways lead straight down to hell. 
the only requirement for you to make it to heaven is to believe the gospel. How that Jesus was sacrificed on the cross for all our sins, past, present and future. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day. And if you believe this in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. Do not be ashamed. Do not be so ashamed and feel so unworthy that you will not call upon the very one who could write your name in heaven and give you everlasting life. Do not be ashamed to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Be a whosoever, because Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in this sinful and adulterous generation of him also, shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with his holy angels. That was for you, sir, because you're ashamed to call upon Jesus, aren't you, sir? You're so ashamed. Your problems, sir, not mine. The gospel. That's why I've been coming here. To, I've been sent here to preach the gospel to you, to show you that there is hope, that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ for anybody and everybody. Jesus said that people will be carrying on with their lives completely unaware, just like you all are now, of when he returns. He said people will be eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage right up until the day that the Lord Jesus comes. That's how it's going to be. And that's just what everybody's doing. Completely unaware that Jesus Christ is coming any second to take all believers up into heaven in the rapture. Do not be left behind. This is serious. You're going to get a shock. You're going to get a shock if you have not believed on Jesus Christ. You are going to get a shock. You're going to witness all these people suddenly vanish. And you, you yourself, left behind because you didn't believe on Jesus Christ. Please turn to him now. Time is short. Call upon the name of Jesus. Do not be ashamed to call upon the very one who could write your name in heaven. Time is almost up. Jesus Christ is coming. He's coming for all them that have believed upon him in the rapture. The only requirement for you to be saved, know that you are going to heaven, that you will be taken up to heaven in the rapture, is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. How that Jesus died for all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried. He rose again on the third day. You believe this in your heart and call upon Jesus and you will be saved. But Jesus said, unless you change your mind and repent, you will all perish. Time is running out. Jesus Christ is coming. Please lay hold of your salvation. Don't say to God that you weren't warned. I am warning you that Jesus Christ is about to come. I am warning you and telling you that right now the Antichrist is forming the new world order. The Antichrist is forming the one world government system. The Antichrist shall do away with money. And the only way anybody can buy or sell anything will be through the mark of the beast in the right hand or in the forehead. Anybody who takes that mark in their right hand or in their forehead will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. Repent, change your minds, believe the gospel while you still have chance.
Oh, that's just tough, sir. God bless you, York. I've come to tell you that God loves you. I've come to tell you that unless you believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, that you will perish in hell. The gospel is that Jesus paid the penalty in full on the cross for all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. And if you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. It's not the volume, sir. It's the message. The message is convicting you in your heart. You don't like it, sir, because you know that you must repent from your sin. Because if you don't repent, you're going to hell. That's why you've come. That's why the devil has sent you to me. Get behind me, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. Get behind me. I've come here to tell you the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes, you, right here with me. Get behind me. I've come here to tell you how God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus. That whosoever should believe on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes, it is. It's all about the message. It's got nothing to do with the volume. And I'm wasting my time speaking to a man who has no faith in his heart. I am come here to preach the gospel, and you are not going to stop me, sir. The gospel is that, first of all, we have all sinned, and we all fall short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ for anybody and everybody who believes. The gospel is that Jesus died on the cross for all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. And if you confess Jesus as Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You're all fulfilling the prophecy. This woman, she does. But you are not fully prophecy, because in the last days, the Bible says that many mockers and scoffers will come, scoffing and mocking at the truth, but you won't be laughing. I'm sorry to say, you won't be laughing at him. If you don't believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, that's where you're going. You all think it's so funny, and you're all fulfilling Bible prophecy. Lady, you are a fine example of Bible prophecy being fulfilled right before my eyes. Mocking and scoffing that the Word of God, you dare to mock the Word of God? The Bible says we all have sinned, and we all fall short of the glory of God and that the wage of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ for anybody and everybody that believes.
sorry guys, I've turned this camera off, but see the trouble I got there, but never mind, this lady came to help, God bless.